Okay, so I call the Trojans, the Tarpons. I am so sorry to both teams for doing that. I'm telling you, my brain is scrambled on a Friday night. A few weeks ago, I had Destrahan and Thibodeau. I do the game on radio, and all night long, I'm mistaking Thibodeau for Terrebonne. I come in and do the show. When I do the show, I mistake Terrebonne for Thibodeau. I'm, please bear with me. Friday nights get to be long. And this is live. It really is. A bunch like, of tigers, it, though. I mean, it, I, yeah. Know. And then everybody's the tigers or the, you know, it, it gets wild. But once again, Trojans, Tarpons, and we do know that they're two different schools. Uh, Vanderbilt Catholic in action tonight, one and four, but once again, with a lot of power points, played a lot of really good teams. They start District 8 4A action against Bell Chase. If they can beat Bell Chase, they're going to be a favorite in all of their games, except for probably that big game against Lutcher, because Lutcher, obviously, a very good football team, as we'll see their score a little bit later against Helen Cox from last night. So we go out to Buddy Marcella State. And ironically enough, I think when we go out there, we're also going to see Buddy Marcello and the team. There he is, right in the middle, Coach Marcello and the team from 1959, state champs at St. Francis Catholic. Here we go, Bell Chase, good run by running back Brent Green to the outside, forced out of bounds. Quarterback Aspen Gaines for the keeper and a touchdown. They were down 7 nothing at this time. They come back to make it 7-7. Seven to seven. A few plays after the ensuing kickoff, quarterback T.J. Cantrell runs up the middle to about the Cardinal 20-yard line. Nice run by Cantrell. And Cantrell again would pass it to number 50, excuse me, 89, Jeffrey Ross. Nice catch by Ross for the touchdown. Vanderbilt goes up 14 to seven at this point. Everything we had was early in this game. Again, at halftime, the school honored the 1959 state championship team. St. Francis defeated Delhi. There is Coach Marcello. Met with Coach Marcello just the other day and still as vibrant and as young as ever. They gave all of the guys on that team a plaque that had the photograph of the uh, championship team. Again, Vanderbilt goes on to a great win tonight against Bell Chase, 31 to 21. Vanderbilt would go ahead and then Bell Chase would kind of come back and Vanderbilt would go ahead. And finally at 21 to 21, Vanderbilt kind of left them in the dust. They finish at 31 to 21. A good game by a lot of the kids at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt got a lot of kids back this week. Ches Morrison, good linebacker, uh, is kind of healthy and he's back. Seth Ward, I know, got his cast off, so he's ready to go. Uh, Michael Artigo had a, a groin injury and uh, he is feeling a whole lot better. So congratulations to all of those guys. And uh, it's a situation with Ellender, Morgan City in that district. They're going to be favorites and Helen Cox having a down year this year. It's going to be a big game against Lutcher in that one. And I have a feeling they're going to help their PowerPoint situation as they're in the top. Oh, yeah. I think they're in the top 25, actually. Uh, so you want to get in the top 16 to make it uh, at home. Yeah. And unfortunately for you, you're not quite in the top 32, but that's because they don't count a lot of the games you got coming up in there also. Right. So we don't want anybody to freak out after five weeks of football. Please realize there's a whole lot more coming oh, up. A yeah. bunch of football left to play. A bunch of football left to play. Let's stay in District 8. 4A, Morgan City picked up a big win against Jackson last week. They have Ellender this week. This game played at South Terrebonne Memorial Stadium. Let's take a look at those highlights. Here we go, in the mud. Jacoby Brown scores a touchdown for Morgan City right here. And that's what it says, folks. Jacoby Brown scores a touchdown. I'm not quite sure how many yards or what the situation was. Here's a kick by Troy Smith as he squibs it down the field to Ellender. And not much of a return for Ellender, but the kick really didn't have any distance. It's tough to get those Ellender jerseys. I know that that's Justin Billiot throwing the ball. He has a terrific arm. Number five. Boy, that was a great catch down there by the young man from Ellender, but it was called back. <laughs> and that's what we have. Ellender touchdown called back. So I couldn't tell you exactly who that was hauling in that, but here we go again. Trying to throw the ball down the field, but Corey Navarro picks it off pretty much secures the win for Morgan City as they go on to defeat Ellender 12 to eight. Ellender still winless, Morgan City, that's two in a row for Morgan City. So on a little bit of a roll right there at the bottom, Lutcher 57, Helen Cox 12. 
So Lutch are pretty much in control of its own destiny, destiny excuse me, as they are now 6-0 on the year and obviously a very good football team no matter what classification you are in. So a uh, good win for Lutcher and a good win for Morgan City. And you don't see those guys in District 8, 4A too much because you guys are playing a lot of the 5A teams. Who is next on your schedule? We're going to play the Trojans in Central <laughs> Lafouche. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Tarpons, the Trojans. The right? Trojans. All right. Starts with a T. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you guys at Thibodeau do well next week. <laughs> Still a tiger, man. <laughs> Still a tiger, huh? All right. When we get back, a lot of action from the St. Mary Parish. And the biggest game out there was Patterson against Catholic and New Iberia, two teams that I'm sure E.D. White's very interested in. And we're going to find out how E.D. White did against West St. Mary. We'll do that after this timeout. 